Hello everybody, as you can see here I just have a review of the Incipio Feather. Um, this case, made by Incipio, here is the box. Go ahead and so sh bleh, show some close up. Sorry, I'm smacking the tripod. This is for the iPhone 3G or 3GS. Pretty simple packaging. Um, I did destroy it a little bit trying to get it open. Um, this case this one at least was on sale for $9.99 on the Incipio website and you can find the product myincipio.com sorry I'm kinda tired this is supposed to be the red one I forget exactly what they call it it's supposed to be red but honestly in real life I'm not sure how it looks on camera it looks a lot more orange than red kind of a red orange in darker lighting but when you get out in the sun definitely an orange an oranger shade so they should at least call it red orange if not orange I'm not really sure red is the right description as you can see I have no trouble bending this case in my hand I'm very confident that I could snap it just by going like that so I don't want to bend it too much um, that is something you're gonna notice about this case it's very thin um, I don't know if you can see but this case is just outstandingly thin Come on. I'm trying to find a good place to show you. There we go. If I can get that to focus. There we go. Very thin. I mean, you really have no clue. It feels like there's nothing on the iPhone. So, the problem with that, if you drop it, it's not going to protect your phone at all. But what it will do is it will protect the back of the phone from scratches and other things like that. And that's the main reason why I bought it. My other case was getting replaced, and I didn't have any others because I recently just got the phone, so I figured I'd just get this to protect it from scratches, and it did do a nice job. So let's go ahead and put this on the device. Go ahead. Um, what most case manufacturers will recommend is that you put the volume switch into down mode and then start from this way. Go ahead and just slide it on. There we go. Um, a little fingerprinty I did put on a screen protector recently, but on the top here you can see a very nicely cut out slot for the button there, a very nicely cut out slot for the headphones, um, excellent lineup here for the volume and silence switch on the bottom, perfect cutout. Now what I am going to note about this though, it does not extend over there. Now you are going to see that this is a little scratched and that is from the spec candy shell case uh, I was a little disappointed that it scratched it, there we go all those scratches there are from the candy shell so this case has done a good job though and again I love the feel of it, it's just so thin but I'm so scared that if I were to drop it outside it's just not going to survive the crash um, camera slot perfectly lined up you can you can see the Apple logo shining through a little bit. Again, it's a very thin case, so it's and stuff's going to shine through. You don't see a lot of the wording unless you look very closely and it's bright enough. You can just barely see iPhone showing through. Um, I don't have a dock, so I can't tell you how it docks, but everything plugs up fine. It works fine. You don't lose any functionality on the phone. Easy to access the switch, but you don't accidentally bump it. At least I didn't while it was in my pocket, as I do when there's no case on. So let me go ahead and take the case off, show you how that works. Um, one thing I am going to note is I cannot figure out how to get this case off easily. What I found the best way is to kind of grip it here on the dock and just jam your fingernail in there and try and work it out. There we go. There we go. Got it. So that's definitely a downside. It's very hard to get this case out or off. Not necessarily a bad thing if you drop it, but then again, I don't know how well, well it would protect against drops. So just a quick review of the Incipio Feather. Um, case has a matte finish. It, uh, I do want to point out along the edges here, um, it was a little rubbed off when I got it, but not badly noticeable. Now it's rubbed off a little more and you can see kind of, yeah, there you go, where it's rubbing. Ooh, right there, it's pretty bad. 
Uh, not too bad though. Definitely not a horribly noticeable thing. The back of the case stays pretty clean. I'm not sure what that mark is that got there, but it just randomly showed up. Uh, the logo, the logo, the logo did scratch a little bit in the past few days, probably just from setting it down. Uh, when you have it on the phone, there is no lip that comes up, so you don't want to set your phone down like that. Not a smart idea. You will scratch it. So you're going to want to make sure you're setting it down like that. Otherwise, this has been a quick review of the Incipio Feather. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.